Petrie for his contribution, and I call the member for Dunkley. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I would like to offer my congratulations to a very talented young woman, the recording artist and Frankston Blues basketballer Tony Watson, known more famously as Tones and I. While most recently she's been calling Byron Bay home, Tones and I is a proud product of the people's Byron Bay, Frankston. As she told Triple J Hack last year, the first time anyone told her that she could sing was when she was at the park in Frankston with her cousins and her aunt, and she was seven years old. It's been a remarkable journey from that Frankston Park for Tony. She went north in 2018 and tried her luck busking in Byron Bay. Of course, it wasn't long before her talent was noticed. Fast forward and her hit, Dance Monkey, don't worry, I'm not going to try to sing it, has been a fixture on the radio. And it is a must addition to playlists across the world and she's performed to an audience of millions on the US late show, Jimmy Fallon. She's reached number one for most streamed song around the world. Dance Monkey has reached the top of the charts in more than 18 countries and is currently making its way up the US charts, sitting at number 19. Last week, Tones and I cleaned up, cleaned up at the ARIA Awards, taking home Best Female Artist, Pop Release, Breakthrough Artist and Independent Release. And we couldn't be more proud um, of a girl from Frankston and the Mornington Peninsula re region. But for all of her success, it is important that we acknowledge that along with the awards and adulation, Tones and I has been very open and brave about the dark side of her newfound fame, and she's been battling what she has described as relentless bullying. She used the spotlight of her ARIA win to speak out about this because, as she puts it, she wants to help the next generation of artists by telling her fans she has decided to push past the dark times and the judgments to show any artist you can get through it and maintain your sense of self. Deputy Speaker, here we have a great example of a strong person prepared to talk about hard times, which isn't easy. A young woman, on the face of it, having her dreams come true, yet coming up against some pretty nasty and negative comments. And while not everyone in my electorate of Dunkley shares the same vocal talents, resilience is something that we are known for. And I want to commend Tony for having the guts to stand down the haters. Her resilience and what you have done, Tony, with your speech sends a powerful message to young men and women, not just in Frankston or the Mornington Peninsula, but women across the country and across the world. If you have a talent and you have a dream, you can achieve. Congratulations on behalf of everyone in Frankston, in the Mornington Peninsula and around the country. We're oh so proud. Yeah.